hi lovelies welcome back to my channel and welcome back to our weekly recipe i can assure you that all the nigeria restaurants we have fans checking with this recipe i present to you the best chicken and cheese you can ever make if you've not subscribed to my channel please do it to subscribe thank you we'll get started with the chicken i'll wash properly with some lemon juice okay so i just cut open a medium sized lemon and i'll use half of it to wash the chicken properly i washed it for about two three times after washing properly i proceeded to season with some minced garlic minced ginger minced onion dry chili pepper some oregano oriental five spices i also added chicken seasoning to this adobo all-purpose seasoning i added black pepper to this some salt and of course seasoning cube then i added some yogurt i will just mix this together and i will set it aside okay Now for the chips, I will get some fresh Irish potato, I proceed to peel them, then I will slice them into strips, not too thin and not too fat, okay? If you've watched to this stage, thank you so much. And please, if you've not subscribed to my channel, do wait to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification button so whenever I make a post, you are going to see it as I've promised to post on this page every Saturday. So every Saturday, you are getting new, new recipes, okay? So please do wait to subscribe, like, and comment on my video. Thank you. So after peeling and cutting into strips, I'm just going to wash it thoroughly to get away every day okay so after washing i wash it about two times after washing i added it to a pot and then i'll be boiling this for just five minutes it should not be later than five minutes because it's just going to be soggy if you boil it for more than five minutes okay while you are waiting for the five minutes to last, get a bowl and add some ice cube as we are going to be giving the shapes a good ice bath, okay? So after five minutes, I'm taking it out of the pot. I did not even allow it to boil, if you notice. I just timed myself. Immediately after five minutes, I took it out and I placed it in the bowl with ice. I'm letting it sit in the bowl for about 10 minutes while I proceed to prepping the oil for frying, okay? After about 10 minutes, you're going to pat it dry with some paper towel or a clean kitchen napkin to get away every moist from it before adding it back into a bowl. Now you're going to be adding some corn flour or corn starch. I added a little bit of salt and some dry chili powder to this. I toss it thoroughly to make sure it is properly combined. The corn flour is just going to make it to be so crunchy and so delicious. So I proceed to fry it in the hot oil until it is crispy and golden brown. Look at this yumminess. See? <laughs> Once I was done with the shapes, I proceeded to prepping the chicken for frying. In a bowl, I added some flour, some cornstarch, salt, and dry chili powder. I'll combine this thoroughly, then get at my chicken. I'll place the chicken in the flour mixture and make sure it is properly coated. <music> After cutting it properly, I'll just deep fry it in a medium heat oil. Please don't let the oil to be so hot. If not, the chicken will not be properly cooked, okay? So medium to low heat is perfect for frying your chicken, okay? Look at this yumminess. Now, tell me that all the restaurants in Nigeria are not jealous of this recipe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!